Hey guys, KRX if you had another review. This time I'll be reading the Deluxe Musou Saber and Melon Loxie from Kamen Rider Gaim. This is a 2 mode weapon used by Kamen Rider Gaim and the 4th Rider in the series, Kamen Rider Zangetsu, and includes a few things. The Musou Saber, Melon Loxied, and a Holster. So to start, we'll take a look at the Musou Saber. So, uh, just from a first look, you can see that it has the same kind of color scheme as the Sengoku Driver, with a metallic dark blue, a silver outlining, and bits of gold added to it. You've got the blade part, which is separated into two sections. This part with clear yellow plastic, and the upper part with a nice silver blade. On the back of it, you've got some gold to match up with it. Getting time to the rest of it, you've got the sticker here, with Kamenard Gaim symbol, and then rainbow-colored stylized clouds. Create here, some detailing on the grip. Handle right here, and the trigger right here. As well as this part, which is where you can put in lock seeds. The holster is a simple piece in metallic dark blue plastic with solid silver to it. And it works quite simply. All you have to do is slot it through one of the belt straps. Then take this section, flip it around, and slide it in like he into here until it locks into place. Just like that. And so, uh, with that, I'm going to prep the Sengoku driver for use just by attaching the other belt strap. I'm just going to quickly do that off camera. Just a little bit. So, and okay, moving on, next we have the Melon Loxied LS04. Now melon could refer to a lot of different fruits, but for this one this is specifically a musk melon, one that's quite popular in Japan, and it's what you see in stuff like melon soda and melon ice cream. So it's got a light metallic green color with a gold rim around it. Of course, you got the great the painted on numbers and this nice texture going across it, as well as these raised parts to give it the texture of that fruit. Has the same kind of opening mechanism as the orange lock seed, and it's got a light clear green bun back here. So switching it on, it's still got the light, but the thing is that, from what seems, when in, when under bright lights, it's a little hard to see it shine through the plastic, but when there's not as much light, it's easier. So anyway, opening up, we'll get its name. And then there's the bell button. Sometimes it helps to just switch it on and off again to get the you lose sound. There we go. So we're getting on to the sounds of the Musa Saber itself. You got the turning on sound. 
and you get one light. So just doing that again. So pulling the trigger while it's in sword mode will get you one of two sounds. And the first light down here will light up. There's also has a second mode you can switch to, which is gun mode. You switch to that, you take this part back here and you cock it back, like so. Once that's done, these four lights will uh, light up like so. And this gives it four shots. So pulling the trigger will deplete one shot each time. And once out, pulling the trigger will make a sound to indicate that sound of shots. And then if you leave it alone for a little bit, it switches back to saber mode or sword mode. And so you can fire off the shots again and pull it back again to reload. And switching it back to saber mode. So now to bring in the Sengoku driver. You the transformation. Now what you'll notice is that this set does not include a faceplate for Kamen Rider Sangetsu. But it was released as a special campaign item. I managed to get up pick up one of them myself, and so I'll just use that and quickly switch that with the Gaim faceplate here. You notice that no sound was made when I attached that, and that's because it has the same... Well, it has the same pegs as the Gaim faceplate. But taking a look at it itself, you got the front part of Connor Zangetsu's helmet, a white background, and then stylized clouds, but they are actually a bit different from the one on the ones on the Gaim faceplate, as you can see. There are these little well, first off, they're black in color and they have these little divots going into them. And make them different from the ones on the Gaim faceplate. So, we can do the transformation now. And so there you get the transformation sent for Kamen Rider Zangetsu, along with a nice green light. And so now we can see the inside of the melon lock seed, with this clear green plastic, the top part with a cut half melon, and then the bomb part, which has that same different cloud pattern, as well as his arm's weapon, a shield called the Melon Defender. So then we can get to the three special attacks. And now, because Conrad Zangetsu hasn't had much screen time and, in fact, hasn't used any special attacks yet on the show, none of his special attacks through the Melon Lock Seed are named yet. But getting special attacks, we now get into the Muso Saber's compatibility with Lock Seeds. So, for that, I'm going to keep the Melon Lock Seed open. 
and detach it from the driver. So then, we can plug it into the uh, Musa Saber right here. And secure it down. Like so. So now I'll give a standby sound here. And so you get a special attack which is a combination of sounds from Muso Saber and the Mount Lockseed. So for the first time you use this, use the Mount Lockseed here, you get the Melon Charge. Pulling the trigger after this, you'll get melon power. And when Loxy is attached, the sounds for that are actually paused and delayed so that the Loxy can go off and then the saber can go off. And using a Loxy on the Musa saber in saber mode performs the Muso slash. You can perform a second finisher attack by unlashing it, switching it to gun mode, and then doing the process over again. And you actually get different standby sound this time. And that performs the Muso, the Muso shot. And so now in gun mode, there'll, there'll be pauses for the melon lock, for the lock seat here when you activate, when you pull the trigger. And to detach the lock seed, you unlatch it. Hold down this part right here, which is actually a button, and then pull it off. Now, because this works similarly to the Sengoku driver to activate sounds in the lock seeds, this does work with other ones, like the orange, banana, and budo lock seeds. And so I'll test those out with it. Although because the sounds don't ch sounds only change depending on which mode the Musa Saber is, I'll only show these off each with one mode. So first orange. Next, banana. banana. And finally, Budo. And since Budo Arms' weapon is a gun, I'll activate it in gun mode.
then just firing out the last two shots, we can switch it back to saber mode. So bring everything back in. Now before thank you for the review, I'll explain the Zangetsu faceplate campaign. It started it was something that started in late about late November to early December. It was something in Japan where if you purchased certain Conrad Gaim toys at a store in Japan, you would get a free Zangetsu faceplate. And so there were some online shops that stocked them. Unfortunately, I was unable to get one, so I got this on. So I got the faceplate on its own by other means. Admittedly, this is the kind of thing that will be kind of tough to find. And if you can't find it on your own, you are gonna have to pay a little bit for it. Just don't pay too much. And admittedly, this is the kind of thing I wouldn't have bought normally, but I just feel like since Conrad Zangetsu, along with with Gaim, Baron, and Ryugen, are considered to be the four main writers of the series, it just didn't feel right not to have his faceplate. So, you know, that's the kind of thing that it's optional to get, especially since it doesn't actually change the sounds from the Gaim faceplate, it's just an aesthetic thing. But as far as the Musou Saber goes, it's a great toy and a great companion piece to the Sengoku Driver. Because like the Sengoku Driver, it can work with any lock seeds. And it does work on a similar system, but it presses the button closest to the colored button here, instead of the further one. And it similarly does have a release a safety latch here as well as this button here which is what determines whether it has a lock on or not. You also get the melon loxy which is very nice it has some very nice sounds to it and is a good addition to a loxy collection. And really the way it's designed it does just go well with the single driver just based on how they have a similar design scheme. So it's definitely something I can recommend. I can definitely something I can recommend picking up, in addition to the Sengoku driver. And like I said, the Zangetsu faceplate is something that is optional. It's something I honestly wish that Bandai would have just included with the set here. But like I said, it's something that's optional and. It's something you should only really get if you really feel that that's necessary, like if you're a really big fan of Zangetsu on the show. But aside from that, once again, the Muso Saber is definitely a very recommended toy. I definitely, definitely say it's something you get pretty soon after getting the uh, Sengoku Driver. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50. Riding off.